There comes a time when the stork is no longer a good enough answer for the question, where do babies come from? Pregnancy is a 40-week process, and interestingly enough, the first two weeks you aren't even actually pregnant. The first week of your pregnancy, you are going through your menstrual cycle. During your menstrual cycle, your body is forming a mature oocyte, or in other words, an egg. Ovulation is when your body releases a mature egg into the fallopian tubes. If you have a regular 28-day cycle, this will be around the second week. This is when you are most likely to conceive. If you have unprotected sex during this time, you can become pregnant. With the action of intercourse, your partner will ejaculate millions of mature spermatozoas, otherwise known as sperm, into your vagina. Hundreds of them will then make it to your fallopian tubes. Once the sperm meet up with your mature egg, otherwise known as the ovum, one of them will penetrate the egg and will be crowned the victor. We now have what we call a zygote. This process is what we call conception. This single cell zygote, which contains the diploid number of chromosomes, now goes into mitotic cell division. And three days after cell fertilization, the zygote forms a 16 cell solid sphere called the morula. Mitosis now continues for five more days and the morula becomes hollow and fills with fluid and is now known as a blastocyst. Your blastocyst contains a full set of DNA which determines sex, eye color, and other traits that you aren't able to predict yet. Near the end of week three, the blastocyst will attach itself to the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus, and this is what we call implantation. This cycle can be anywhere from six to eight days. You now no longer have a blastocyst. You have an embryo. Over time, the implantation site will develop the placenta and the endometrium, which will provide the developing embryo nutrients to grow. At four weeks, your baby is implanting itself deep into your uterus, and once implanted, your baby produces the hormone HCG. This helps maintain the lining of your uterus and also sends a signal to your body so it stops dropping an egg each month, which also stops your monthly periods. HCG is the hormone measured in a pregnancy test, so around this time, you will be able to confirm your pregnancy with a urine or blood test. By the end of week four, your expected period will not take place, you will have an embryo the size of a poppy seed growing, and your pregnancy will be well on its way. Your baby's development is now in full swing. Your baby's brain, spinal cord, heart, and other organs are starting to form. Because of this, adequate nutrients are needed. An important nutrient is folic acid. Folic acid prevents neural tube defects. Neural tubes give rise to the brain and spinal cord, which forms early in pregnancy. Your embryo consists of three germ layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. The ectoderm will soon form structures like your baby's hair and nail follicles, sweat glands, and salivary glands. The mesoderm can form things like bone, cartilage, skeletal muscles, and kidneys. And the endoderm will start to form the liver, stomach, intestines, pancreas, and more. The poppy seed inside of you is now getting a distinct shape. The neural tubes run from one end to the other, and a large mass in the middle of the embryo will soon develop into the heart. During this time, the placenta develops. Your baby is starting to take on form and starts to resemble a tadpole. By week six, your baby's heart starts to beat, twice as fast as yours actually. Your baby's facial features are starting to form and little buds appear where arms and legs will develop. Your baby will start to take on the C shape. By week seven, your umbilical cord has formed your baby's digestive tract and lungs are now beginning to form and continue to form throughout pregnancy. During this week, your baby's face is taking shape, including the mouth, nostrils, ears, and eyes. They become more defined. By this time, your body also forms a mucus plug in the cervical canal that protects the uterus. Your baby resembles a pomegranate seed. Your baby is starting to transform into a developing human. At this week, your baby's digestive tract is continuing to grow especially its intestines. Your baby's teeth will also start to form in the gums. 
By this week, your baby will measure 0.6 to 0.7 inches and weigh around 0.1 ounces. As your baby continues to develop, the internal reproductive features such as the testes or ovaries start to form during this week. Your baby is the same size of a bean. All of your baby's beginning vital organs have been formed and are starting to work together. Your baby's fingers and toes start off webbed, but during this week your baby's fingers and toes will start to separate. By the end of this week, you will no longer have an embryo in your belly. You will have a fetus. Now that your baby has passed the embryonic stage and has progressed into a fetus, your baby's brain and major organs are well started. Your baby's eyes will get darker in pigmentation and its ears are moving up into the side of its head. Your baby's head makes up for half its body length. But because of rapid development, your baby's body will soon catch up. Your baby's fingernails and toenails start to form along with its vocal cords. Your baby's kidneys are now functioning. After your baby swallows amniotic fluid, it can now pass it out of the body as urine. You may also be able to hear your baby's heartbeat with an ultrasound. Your placenta has now fully developed and is providing your baby with the oxygen and nutrients it needs to grow. Your baby is also the size of a small pear. By week 14, your baby is starting to develop lunugo. Lunugo are fine hairs that keep the baby protected and warm inside the belly. By now, your baby's genitals have fully developed, but still may be hard to detect on an ultrasound. Your baby may have also discovered thumb sucking. By the end of this week, you have completed the first trimester. Congratulations, you are now in your second trimester. Your baby now weighs about 3.9 ounces and measures around 4.7 inches. Your baby is now developing facial muscles, which allows for facial expressions such as squinting and frowning. Your baby's sex may be detectable at our mid-pregnancy ultrasound. Your baby is around the size of an avocado. During week 17, your baby is still growing at a great pace, and your placenta grows to accommodate your baby. Your placenta now has many blood vessels that carry oxygen from your body to the baby's body. At week 18, your baby's ears are now to their final position, and they are sticking out from the head. This week, or soon coming, your baby will begin to hear. Your baby can even be startled by loud noises. This week, your baby's bones begin to harden. Your baby also starts to develop a waxy cheese-like substance on their body, which is called vernix. At week 18, your baby is the size of a sweet potato. At week 19, your baby is now hearing your heartbeat and the sounds that come from outside your body. If you haven't started to feel your baby move, then the time is soon. Baby is moving inside your tummy now. It may take a couple weeks longer for anyone but you to feel the baby's movements. At week 20, your baby now weighs around 11 ounces and measures about 6.3 inches. Your baby's skin is thickening and developing layers. Hair and nail growth continue. You are now halfway through pregnancy. Your baby is now the size of an artichoke. At week 21, you may start to notice your baby hiccuping. Your baby is also starting to form meconium, which will be what consists of your baby's first bowel movement. At week 22, nerve endings and taste buds are starting to form. Your baby is now experimenting with his new sense of touch, and he'll begin to suck or stroke his face. At week 23, in boys, the testes have begun to descend, and in girls, the uterus and ovaries are in place, and the vagina is developed. Your baby is now moving a lot in your belly, using its muscles, in the fingers, toes, arms, and legs regularly you may be able to see your baby squirm under your belly. At week 24, your baby's lungs are now trying to fully develop and the ability to produce surfactant is important. Surfactant is a phospholipid substance that keeps the air sacs in the lungs from collapsing or sticking together when the baby tries to breathe. Your baby is the size of an eggplant. At week 25, your baby will now be able to realize if he is upside down or right side up in the amniotic fluid due to balance. Your baby can also taste the food that you eat. Your baby is now probably over a pound in weight and just over a foot long. 
At week 26, your baby's eyelids may begin to open and be able to blink. Your baby's skin is loose and wrinkly and your baby will continue to gain weight to fill in the space. At week 27, your baby is doing what is called practice breathing by taking breaths in and using his lungs. It's now week 28. Your baby may start to recognize your voice. Your baby now weighs about two pounds. Your healthcare provider will probably be able to tell what position your baby is in. And your baby may also start to dream. Welcome to week 29 and the third trimester. The folds and grooves of your baby's brain continue to develop and expand, and in addition, your baby has added layers of fat and has continued hair growth. At week 30, your baby is now moving a lot, and with some movements, the kick or jab may take your breath away. You can now monitor the movement of your baby and be aware when baby stops moving. Your baby's five senses are now fully developed, and it is the size of a head of lettuce. At week 31, your baby now urinates several cups a day and is constantly swallowing amniotic fluid which is replaced several times a day. Your baby is continuing to steadily add weight. From now until about 37 weeks of pregnancy, your baby will gain about a half a pound a week. This week, the final touches are being placed on your masterpiece. The baby's eyelashes, eyebrows, and hair are evident. The lanugo that covered the baby since the second trimester is now falling off, but the vernix is still present. At week 33, your baby is becoming very smart. It can detect light outside of the abdomen. It can listen, feel, and somewhat see. Your baby is also sleeping a lot and dreaming with REM sleep. That means your baby is having vivid dreams. Your baby's lungs are almost mature and brown adipose tissues are deposited for protection and warmth for your baby. At week 34, your baby can now turn its head and is the size of a cantaloupe. Now, at week 35, your baby is gaining a good amount of weight before it is born, and baby is getting prepared for extra uterine life. At week 36, the vernix coating is becoming much thicker on baby, and the lanugo is almost completely gone. Baby is now positioned for delivery and a breached baby may need to be delivered via C-section. At 37 weeks, your baby is really cramped inside. This may cause decreased fetal movements, but in some cases, the movements may become more forceful. Your baby is now considered full term, but ideally, you want it to stay in the womb a little bit longer. At 38 weeks, your baby now has enough coordination to grasp with its fingers. Your baby continues to gain weight and fat deposits for extra uterine life. If you are having a boy, his testes should be descended into the scrotum. Your baby is the size of a melon and will continue to grow. You're almost done, week 39. Most of the vernix that covered your baby's skin has disappeared and so has the lanugo. Through the pregnancy, your body has been supplying the baby with antibodies which have prepared baby for extra uterine life and helps baby fight off infection. Congratulations, it is now week 40 and you are finally here. Only 5% of women give birth on their due dates, and if you're a first time mother, you may be waiting a little bit longer. A baby born at 40 weeks weighs an average of seven pounds, four ounces, and measures about 20 inches long.